Hi, I'm Rena from LitMaps. In this video, we're going to go over how LitMaps searches for papers and how the different LitMaps algorithms work. When you run a search on LitMaps, you can use one or more input papers from which to find recommendations. The default algorithm that the LitMaps app uses is called the Top Shared Citations and References. When you run a search from the LitMaps app by clicking on Quick Search, Searching for a Paper, and clicking Explore Related Articles, that's the algorithm that LitMaps is using to find recommendations, the top shared citations and references. Additionally, if you add more papers to your search by using the More Like This button, or if you import an entire library of articles using a BibTeX, RIS, or PubMed, all of those articles, again, are going to be searched on using that top shared citations and references algorithm. The top shared citations and references algorithm works by finding you the most interconnected articles to the inputted papers. So what this means is when you run a LitMaps search using a single input article, then what happens is LitMaps looks at all of this paper's citations and references, as well as the citations of this paper's references. That's what we refer to as the co-citations of this paper. So with all of this paper's references, citations, and co-citations, LitMaps will look through this entire network and find which articles are most interconnected to one another. In this way, LitMaps can find papers you'd otherwise miss because it's not just about citations and references, but rather those other connections and those co-citations. And how they're ranked is based on connection, which is why the recommendations tend to be highly relevant. They're not just about this single paper, but they're showing you what the field looks like around this paper. In this example, my inputted paper is this dark dot in the middle of the map. The papers to the left of it are recommendations based on the LitMaps algorithm that were published before this paper. Now, many of them are references. We can tell because when we hover over them, we see the line connecting them to our source paper. But some of them are not directly connected to our paper. For example, this article and this article are having connections to the references of our paper, but not directly to our paper. That's the power of LitMaps in finding these kinds of articles or co-citations, which are highly relevant for our topic, but we wouldn't otherwise find if we're only looking at references and citations. We can also look to the right of our paper, and here we'll find articles that have been published after our input article. These are also directly citing our paper, but some of them are also citing the references of our article. It's important to note that the algorithm works a little bit differently when you have more than one input paper. So for one or more input papers, the top shared citations and references algorithm actually searches through just these papers, citations and references, finding the top interconnected articles. So in this specific example, if I have more than one input paper, we're not using co-citations. What sets LitMaps apart from most other search platforms is that you can change how you're conducting your search by experimenting with different search algorithms. To change the algorithm, just click the top shared citations and references button, and you'll be able to see the other algorithm options. LitMaps also has similar abstract and title content. This works by looking at each of your inputted papers, titles, and abstracts, and comparing them to all the rest of the LitMaps papers, finding those which are most similar based on that information. This algorithm can be a good choice, particularly if you're looking for papers that may not have very many citations or wouldn't be directly connected to your source paper. As you can see from the results, most of the article recommendations here are not directly connected to any of my source papers. But as I read through them, I might find something highly relevant on my topic that I otherwise wouldn't find. The final algorithm that LitMaps offers is called Common Authorship Patterns. This algorithm works by looking at your inputted papers and noting what authors work together on those articles and finding you other related literature with the same kind of author collaborations. This algorithm can be useful if you want to try to identify top authors in your field or try to identify research labs that might be relevant for your topic. No matter which algorithm you're using or how many search inputs you have, you can also customize your search further by using special date and keyword filters. The date filter is a great way to hone in on more recent work. For example, this input paper I have is from 2004. So if I want to see what are the most recent developments since this paper, I can type in 2022 and ask LitMaps to only return to me articles published after this date. I can also try to hone in on a specific niche by using keyword filters. 
So clicking this None button at the top, I can select whatever keywords I'm really trying to focus in for my research. Litmaps will then only suggest articles which have this keyword in the paper's title or abstract. As you can see, Litmaps is a little bit different than most of the other research tools out there. It's not just a database lookup, as you'll find in many traditional search tools, nor is it exactly like the other AI tools which are recommending papers just based on content similarity. By searching based on connection, letting you change your search inputs, and letting you select different search algorithms, as well as filtering on dates or keywords, the Litmap search is completely unique in how customizable it is, and in this way, letting you really target and narrow down on specific papers as quickly as possible. I hope this helps you better understand how the Litmaps algorithm works and what the Litmaps recommendations are based on. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.